we got a lot of history and my granddad which was Elry Butler and my great uncles Jake and Lynn they started in the rodeo business in uh, 1929 and uh, so and they drove cattle and my great granddad made the land run at El Reno in uh, 1902 I believe it was so we just kind of trying before everybody got old and died we was trying to make a timeline they had a museum up here earlier dedicating the Butler Brothers and Butler and Son Rodeo, but on the other hand, we, we needed to update it and everything. It hadn't been updated in about 25 years, so we tried, and then they even let me add me and Rhett to it, so I don't know whether that Rhett's good, I don't know about me. They just set some of the cornerstones and made the, made the rodeo business. There's a big part of the way the rodeo business it is, why it is as successful as it is today. A lot of people don't understand how hard it is to make a rodeo be successful. It's a two, two and a half hour production. You entertain the people and you sell them a product and they will come back for more. And, and you've got to do that or you, you, wouldn't be, you wouldn't be successful. The contestants in this day and age, and, and they're all great guys, don't get me wrong, but it's all about me and you forget about the people in the stands that pay for everything. And that, to me, that's what you've got to do is entertain the people, because if you don't have them, you don't have anything.